Um, but before I get into it, if you haven't joined the Discord, cop a sample pack. Okay, cop a sample pack. We have thousands of producers like those in the chat right now. Chatting, talking. We just vibing right now. So you don't wanna you don't wanna miss out. We got a bunch of cool stuff happening. We got a sample flip challenge happening right now within the chat. Not chat, but in the Discord. It's a part of the Discord. You join the Discord, you'll be able to see what's going on. As well, I just dropped a little free sat free sound pack of samples like yesterday. So if you're part of the Discord, you ain't know what's going on. That's that's what's happening. But let me turn the music down a little bit. So I went to Full Sail University for recording arts. And what was so funny about this was when I went, um, Crash, not yet. We will be doing the raffle today. We are fixing beats. I just, I want to get the story out. Uh, but uh, I went to Full Sail uh, back in 2015. Immediately after I graduated high school, uh, I went straight to college. It was really, really nuts. It was really, really interesting. I'll tell you exactly why. I went off of pure faith and I had an opportunity to go because my schooling and stuff, I ended up getting a, uh, I got one of those, um, what's it called? A scholarship. I got a scholarship to go to Full Sail. Uh, Full Sail University, to explain what it is, it is a uh, entertainment school where people typically go to learn how to do music production, how to engineer, how to do TV, how to do animation, everything that deals with entertainment. Movies, albums, music. There's a guy by the name of Leslie Brathway who's like considered one of the protégés of Bruce Sweden, who is known as the man who recorded Thriller off the wall. Anything by Quincy Jones you can think of. So I went to that school. Now, what was crazy was this. Prior to Full Sail, I went to Full Sail specifically because I wanted to get better at what I was doing. Now, what's interesting is this. The year is 2015, and I remember thinking, like, you know, it's, I want to be able to be surrounded by other people who are passionate about music, right? Now, what was crazy is this. The first five months were awful. And I'll tell you exactly why. So the first five months, I was just trying to get my footing being around people. Like, I, and I won't even say awful because of like the experience. It was awful because I learned already knowing how to make music. And the first class we did was learning how to make music. So they, they were like, this is a C major chord. This is a C minor chord. And I'm like, bro, I already have a whole, I've already started a whole thing online. Why in the world am I here? And I was like, yo. But then I, I started to like, you know, sit back and like kind of really understand what was going on. And mind you, this is before I learned how to play piano. This is before I learned how to record. This is before I really knew what I knew now. So I went through those classes and they were just showing us the absolute origin between how to like engineer, make music, the theory behind it, the history of it, where it comes from. Really engineering is like electricity and like learning how electricity works and currents are flowing. Like you can, that's, that's really the origin behind it. Like I didn't know that about music. And so up until that like second to third month, I was a little bit I was a little bit bummed out because I remember making this decision to come to the school and two things were occurring. I was surrounded by cool people, but then there are people who wanted to make music. But then when I realized there were other people who went to Full Sail specifically for the fact that they wanted to become a star. And boy, oh boy, that did not happen for those people. And so I was just like, oh, put me around somebody that likes to make music. And then I started noticing that my friend group started to change. And I noticed that I was like hanging out with people that wanted to make music, but didn't want, didn't want to make music. And so I remember right before the end of 20, 2015, I think it was like December, November, December. I asked God 
if this is what you really want me to do with it, like because I'm obviously I'm in debt I'm in college <laughs> I, I have a scholarship but I have to pay some money off I still got to pay money off um but I remember thinking like man if this is what God wants me to do then I'll do it but give me some sort of like closure like give me some sort of like feeling that like I'm going down the right path immediately within like the first part of that November December I met a gentleman by the name of Tessellated and Tessellated was like yo you you should go to this studio called Studio 18 in, in Winter Park Orlando was crazy What's crazy is this. I ended up meeting some of the best friends of my life out of that space. Studio 18 opened me up to like the community because Tessellator was also a Full Sail University graduate. He went to Full Sail too. And he was like, yo, bro, I got some homies that you should hang out with. And I was like, oh, who, who's the homies? And he was like, yo, I think you and this guy named Paul would go great together. Like, you da-da-da-da. And he was like, yo, I got this homie named Riley. I got this homie named Ioski. I got this homie named... And I just started to connect with mad people who were just passionate and knew crazy stuff. Now, here's the craziest part. My manager, my current manager right now, I met him when I was a fresh new college student at Full Sail. This was seven to eight years ago. And I was like, yo, like, a lot of it really came from just like seeing people around the school that were going to these events. And if you hear somebody, and this is really what I'll say too, if you ever go to a school and you hear someone playing some music that like is fire to you, like, like undeniably, like it piques your interest because you resonate with it. Like they playing some some Herbie Hancock or they doing like like neo soul jazz. That's probably going to be your crew because they know the exact same people that you are into. And so I didn't realize at that time, late 2015, early 2016, I was being set up to be around some of the guy, some of the most talented gentlemen I've ever met in my life. Like my best friends are Swavy, Paul, Ioski, Riley. I'm still friends with all those guys I went to school with. And it opened me up to the community and made me realize like, oh, music is more than just making beats in your bedroom and cooking up. Like, nah, man, like that was, it was game changer. Cause I realized it was so important to be in the community and what's cool about the community is when people really really like what you're doing and you believe in what you're doing people are gonna like push it you know what i'm saying great music does not get get like frowned upon great music is always welcome you know what i'm saying uh, i forgot to ask her you can you're gonna come across her again patrick when it happens you're gonna come you're gonna come across her again and be like yo that's like that's, that's who I got to hang with. So, um, but yeah, I ended up meeting some of the most talented people. And what I did not realize, and this is the craziest part, I did not realize that, uh, I did not realize that when I went to Full Sail, all the people that I was around taught me so much more about music than I already knew. I knew music from a programming perspective. I knew how to click and drag, right? But I didn't know how to like play all the instruments and that didn't click until 2016. 2016, I met my homie Paul and Paul was like, yo bro, can you play over random time signatures? And hilariously enough, I had just gotten into the Mahavishnu Orchestra. I got into progressive rock. I just got heavy into that stuff. And we became great friends right after that. I ended up recording his album. I recorded an album called It All Ends at the same time. I recorded some stuff with a bunch of other homies in Orlando, but I like my, my palette of music changed for like five years because I was just around so many talented individuals. 
Now, here's the craziest part. I go back and think about, like, all the classes that I took at Full Sail, and they basically taught us top to bottom how do you create a record from top, from conception to release, and the business of it. The last class that we had, we had to make a website for our music. This is 2015, and they were teaching us, like, social media presence. They were teaching us all about, like, And I was like, dang, and what's crazy is I remember that stuff. But I just remember thinking, like, I don't need to know what a C major chord is. But I didn't realize I I needed that. I really, really needed that. And it taught me a lot about, like, like, I don't necessarily know everything, you know. And when it comes to music, it's, it's always welcome to, like, learn more. Especially whatever knowledge you currently have right now in music. It's probably gonna expand when you're your space does especially when you're ready for it you know because sometimes i think we're, we're we're in a space where we're ready for things i think we're like we say we're ready but like if we were put in that predicament i don't think we're really ready for it you know what i'm saying like if i was in a predicament i am right now five years ago i don't think i'd be able to handle it because my 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 maturity wasn't there i had to go through some crazy life stuff during that period where it like taught me how to grow up quick like, I am, I just turned 18, just graduated high school, and now I'm on my own. <laughs> like, I am on my own. And so, life has a very funny way of letting you know when you're ready and when you're not. And so, yeah, I don't know necessarily what that was aiming for, but that was, full still changed my life. And I think if you know what you want to do, a school like that, eventually, if you end up like, you know, I'm not going to say now, like, go oh, and drop all that money. But if you if you get a scholarship and you got a good way of talking and communicating, because it's really about who you are and who you know. But if you aren't necessarily a good person, you know what I'm saying? Like, folks going to talk about that. So make sure, you, make sure you're, a, you're, you're solid. Make sure you, your rapport of when people talk about you when you leave the room is what really matters the most. And so I just know... What people get from me and what you're going to see from me as well, you watched me on Twitch stream and as I make music, I am a hard worker. I put my head down, I work, and I do it for a long period of time. And I know the benefits come later. And that's what they don't tell Full Sail. Sometimes you think you're behind, but uh, in hindsight, things will happen at the right time. Things will happen at the right time. It will. I like how this song is literally one of those. Look at the one right here. But yeah, it's one of those. But yeah, I, I love you guys. I just wanted to tell you that. Um, 